Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part two of Origins Cleaver that we're going to do today. And what I'm going to do in this clip here is a chop test. I've got a piece of birch here, I would say approximately uh, just over two inches in diameter. And I'm just going to see how we get on cutting this. So here's the blade here. We've seen it previously. Got a couple of chops in it just to get a feel. It feels really good with the glove on at the moment and I've been working with the gloves on so we'll have a test with the glove on and one with it out so let's see how we get on to here so just come in a bit and we'll see oh, look at that just come in and have a wee look at that that's I would say an inch bite in here not too bad just got a quick chop through then And the sweet spots, maybe about an inch for the front in these first couple of chops I've had here. And I was actually expecting it to be a bit further back. I was actually expecting it to be about here, but it's actually forward in this position here. So I'm going to actually go up to almost like a local grip to see how we get on with that and see if it stays secure with the glove on. Look at that for a bite. I know there so I probably have done that in two chops so what I'll do now is I'll take you over here to this stump and we'll do a perpendicular cut so we'll come straight down to see how it actually bites with this convex edge so I'll say this is approximately maybe three quarters of an inch so we go on with a straight down cut no problem a bit thicker see up to about an inch now Easy. Shock's not that bad. You could feel a wee bit, but nothing to speak about. What you would expect. Let's go down here and we'll see how it gets on with this. Now we know this is a particularly tough test for any knife, a straight down cut, because it's got to push all the wood out of the way. So let's see how it goes. Look at that. That's absolutely excellent. That's what you're looking for in your cleaver. Get it out there. Yeah, it's a bit in that half. Oh, there you go. Excellent. A couple of these. Well impressed with that. I like that. Right, I'm going to give it a, a heavy swing here. Let's see if we can get through this. There you go, that's very impressive. There you go, one hit. Let's go slightly thicker. We'll try this up here. Right, so a heavy swing here, let's see how we get on. Let's try to get this actually flat to line this log. And if you get the sweet spot, look at that. That's amazing. So it's just getting a feel for the blade, a wee bit to the front didn't cut so well, get the sweet spot perfect and it just straight through it, that's really good. Right so what I want to do next with this is do a heavy chopping perpendicular chop, just a straight one hit to the top of this piece of birch, I'll say it's approximately what three, three and a half inches in diameter there, just try and sit against the log. And it's just out of curiosity I want to do that, just to see how it performs. And as I'm starting to find out here with the chopping, it has various sweet spots depending on how you hold this. So let's see how we go on with this. Oh! Dear me, look at that. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Go. and I'll say that's actually went down to 
to the bottom of the blade, probably about seven inches down there, and it split it to this point here. So you're off to a cracking start if you want to batten it. So what I'll do is I'll just batten through the rest of this to this position. I'll straighten the blade out, gives a wee second till I get myself a batten. And this is a bit big as you can plainly see. We'll see how it gets on. Too long. What I'll do is I'll take it over here, put it on this log, make it a bit easier so we can get a swing at it. I'm not actually hitting it that hard, but look at that. What that's done. There we go. Lovely. Just get another wee bit. Just starting from the top then. Now that we'll split this. Just get into position. Oof. You can see that convex is just absolutely parting. The wood fibres, I mean that's all the way to there. And they two taps. And you can see that the grain is running off here, so it's not if it's running perfect. There you go, set that through. No problem to it. Edge looks perfect. Yep. No chips, no rolls, so it looks like the heat treats bang on as per usual with Kev's knives. Absolutely brilliant, well happy with that one. Right, so today we're in this small coppice wood here which is getting cleared by the forestry and I'm just going to test the knife out here and a bit of chopping on this piece of birch we've got. The whole area is getting cleared so you can plainly see the top of this is rotted so what I'm going to do is test the cleaver out on its chopping capabilities and I would say this is so oh, probably about 8 to 10 inches in diameter and I'm just going to chop into it using various grips just to get a feel for this so let's start off with just the full grip to start with look at that the full width of the blade for the spine to the cutting edge deep and the wood is a bit rotted here but you can actually feel how hard it is in the centre but that's with that type of grip, the full grip so what I'm going to do now then is try how I got on with the local grip and that gives you that slight advantage with a bit more length than using the, the lever principle okay so let's see how we go on <laughs> well, there you go, that's what you call a knife. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> right, so here we can have a standard size limb that we'd maybe use on the roof of your shelter. And as per usual, comes with uh, small branches that need to be cleared off before we can actually put it up on the roof. So what I want to see here is just how it cuts at the front, just with a kind of snap cut. That's minimum amount of effort here, and that's what you want your knife to do to do all the work for you. So, lovely. Just a quick clear off of these tiny ones. Yeah, no problem to it whatsoever. Just start flicking of the wrist. Right, so the next wee test of what you do is just trying this front here. It's actually sharpened like a dull edge to the front here which will assist us when it comes to splitting. Well, hopefully it will. So what I'm going to do is just take this branch, an inch, it is green, but let's see how it gets on. 
and we'll see how it performs when it comes to actually doing some splitting. So I'm going to hold it in this position. Just get in here. So there it is in position. Just need to give myself a bit of room here. So I'll become. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Straight through first hit. And because I had it closer to the front, because I'm accustomed to actually not going through in one go there, obviously the knife's doing the job for you. So let's try doing a bit further then. Yeah. Look at that. that I mean, that was absolutely effortless. Even to the point it's caught me off by surprise there, we're just going straight through it. Here's some a bit thicker. Let's see how we get on with that. There's a few knots in this on the road up, but who cares? So I'm going to come back a wee bit just solely because of what I've done previous there. That's amazing. That's absolutely perfect. Right, here we have a tree here. Let's see how we get on it chopping through this. Well, oh, I'd say it's about a foot in diameter. And here we go. Straight in here. A big knot there. Look at the chunks. for you. I mean, it's just like a chainsaw. Here we're at the hardest bit of the wood. So what I'll do is I'll go to this side. That's excellent. Well pleased with that. Almost there. I need to watch what I'm doing here. I'm not too sure what's on the floor. So I'm going to change sides again. There we go. Oh, so you call the workout. Let's check the blade. No chips, no rolls, no dings. That's what you call a chopper. <laughs> 